Hi and welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin and this video is on Ozempic. So Ozempic or the chemical ingredient semaglutide injection comes in a 0.25, a 0.5 or a 1 milligram and it's an injectable prescription medicine for adults with type 2 diabetes that along with diet and exercise may improve blood sugar. So Ozempic is not recommended as the first choice medicine for treating diabetes. It is not known if Ozempic can be used in people who have had pancreatitis. Ozempic is not a substitute for insulin and is not for use in people with type 1 diabetes or people with diabetic ketoacidosis. It is not known if Ozempic is safe and effective for use in children under 18 years of age. So using the Ozempic pen, take Ozempic once a week on the same day, exactly as prescribed by a doctor. You can take Ozempic with or without food. You may change the day of the week you use Ozempic as long as your last dose was taken two or more days before. If you miss a dose of Ozempic, take the missed dose as soon as possible within five days after the missed dose. If more than five days have passed, Skip the missed dose and take your next dose on the regular scheduled day using the pen. So Ozempic is injected under the skin of your abdomen, thigh or upper arm. Do not inject into a muscle or vein. Change or rotate your injection site with each injection. Do not use the same site for each injection. If you choose to inject in the same area, always use a different spot in that area. So important safety information about Ozempic. Do not share your Ozempic pen with other people. Even if the needle has been changed, you may give other people a serious infection or get a serious infection from them. Ozempic side effects. So possible thyroid tumours, including cancer. So tell your healthcare provider if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, hoarseness, trouble swallowing or a shortness of breath. These may be symptoms of thyroid cancer. Do not use Ozempic if you or any of your family have ever had MTC or if you have an endocrine system condition called multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Do not use Ozempic if you or any of your family have ever had MTC or MEN2. You're allergic to Ozempic or any of the ingredients in Ozempic. So before using Ozempic, tell your healthcare provider if you have any other medical conditions, including you have or have had problems with your pancreas or kidneys, have a history of diabetic retinopathy, are pregnant or breastfeeding, or plan to become pregnant or breastfeed. It is not known if Ozempic will harm an unborn baby or passes into breast milk. You should stop using Ozempic two months before you plan to become pregnant. So what are the possible side effects of Ozempic? Inflammation of your pancreas. So stop using Ozempic and call your healthcare provider right away if you have severe pain in your stomach area that will not go away, with or without vomiting. You may feel the pain from your abdomen to your back. Also, side effects would be changes in vision, low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. The signs and symptoms of low blood sugar include dizziness, lightheadedness, blurred vision, anxiety, irritability, and mood changes, sweating, hunger, confusion, and headache, fast heartbeat, and feeling jittery. So kidney problems also be side effects. In people who have kidney problems, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting may cause a loss of fluids, which may cause kidney problems to get worse. It is important for you to drink fluids to help reduce your chances of dehydration. Also side effects would be serious allergic reactions. Stop using Ozempic and get medical advice immediately. If you have symptoms of an allergic reaction, including itch, rash or difficulty breathing, the most common side effects of Ozempic may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach pain and constipation. So the recommended dosage, you start Ozempic 
with 0.25 milligram subcutaneous injection once weekly for four weeks. The 0.25 milligram dose is intended for treatment initiation and is not effective for glycemic control. After four weeks on the 0.25 milligram dose, increase the dose to 0.5 milligram once weekly. If additional glycemic control is needed after at least four weeks on the 0.5 milligram dose, the dosage may be increased to one milligram once weekly. The maximum recommended dosage is one milligram once weekly. Administer Ozempic once weekly on the same day each week at any time of the day with or without meals. The day of weekly administration can be changed if necessary as long as the time between the two doses is at least two days or more than 48 hours. If a dose is missed, administer Ozempic as soon as possible within five days after the missed dose. If more than five days have passed, skip the missed dose and administer the next dose on the regular schedule day. In each case, patients can then resume their regular once weekly dosing schedule. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through the website mytelehealth.info or call into us Lynch's Pharmacy Douglas Cork or you can ring 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.